Hey guys, hey guys, hey guys, hey, 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 hey. Hello, foodie booties. <laughs> Hey everybody, it's me, Zach, and welcome back to my channel. So, I promise I'm gonna get to Amber Lynn tomorrow. I'm going live on my stream, on my stream, on my YouTube channel at 3 p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. Chicago time. That's on Saturday, November 16th, so we will catch up with her tomorrow. I have a social engagement tonight, but have just enough time to give you all the quickest of updates about my favorite dumpster diving diva, Chantal Marie, Chantal Show, Big Beautiful Me, Foodie Booty, Flobby Bobby, Feudy Beauty. <laughs> she is out here, y'all. She said the other day, I gotta take a break. I gotta take a break because I gotta take care of myself prior to this whole ass surgery I'm about to have. I gotta take a break. But what she didn't want to take a break from was getting into fights with people on the internet. And y'all know at this point that the only thing I maybe love more than a foodie booty that is dumpster diving is a foodie booty who's being a feudy beauty and getting into all kinds of ruckus with other people. It is quite possible you missed everything that went down because let me tell you what, yesterday I went to a play with Noel for all of maybe two hours, right? I think the show ran for like an hour and 40 minutes. Noel and I got dinner before we went into the theater, you know, while we were waiting for the show to start, I like scrolled through my, my timelines, didn't see anything. And by the time I came out of that show, everything had kicked off. But you know, I had to like go to bed, I had to wake up, come to work. Now I'm back home, so we're gonna talk about it just real quick because some of y'all I know don't follow folks on Twitter and that's where like the receipts still lay. So if you want to follow me on Twitter, go follow me there. Also follow a whole bunch of other people on Twitter because you're going to get all the tea all the time. Like things pop off on Twitter and get talked about on Twitter way before people ever have time to make any kind of videos about it. So follow us there. Follow me on all the social media. Let's get started because this is supposed to be quick and we're already three minutes into this video almost. So things got started yesterday by a guy named Toad McKinley. He has a YouTube channel. I'll link him down below. Particularly, he made almost a two hour documentary on our girl Chantal and well, I will say that like Mr. Toad guy <laughs> uses language that I would normally always use in my videos. Sometimes he's like a little meaner than I would be. And I know sometimes like my audience doesn't always love that kind of a thing. I will say that I wholeheartedly like recommend that the facts that he's putting down in that video, in particular, he covers everything, right? He covers from the day Chantal started her YouTube channel to present day up to like the, the, the graveyard cheese mukbang, right? So he goes through it all and the reason I know he's really on top of it is because he covered in part of this two hour documentary the time where Homegirl <laughs> struck my channel and he got everything down to a T about what happened. And I have no doubt that he spent a lot of time, you know, researching what happened, watching her videos. He includes lots of clips of her saying actual things that are problematic and, and frightening and scary and a lot of stuff that I didn't even know. So if you haven't watched that two hour documentary, I mean, I guess stop right now, go watch all two hours of it and then come back to this video. So if you're coming back or if you've already watched it, shortly after that video started picking up steam, people like Michael B. Petty were retweet retweeting it, Charlie Gold retweeted it. So shortly after it started picking up some attention, our girl <laughs> went to her community tab, her home away from home, and she posted this. She said, I'm going to admit something. Criticism is very hard to take. People talking about you is very hard to adapt to. Before YouTube, I would say and do what I want all day, every day, and no one gives a crap. Now as a YouTuber with thousands of viewers, everything I do or say is examined under a microscope and picked apart by various opinions of me. Accepting that this is now my reality has been very hard for me. 
If there is anything I regret so far being a YouTuber, it's letting these judgments get the better of me and in turn, lash out and lower myself. I know I have room to grow, insert fat joke here, and will try to keep the following words in mind because nothing matters in life other than God, love, and kindness, regardless of what others have done to you in the past, I have been date raped, bullied, and tomatoes thrown at me, and I have let this sour my love for others, but I know that despite what we all go through and what we all go through hurtful times, we need to keep the love in our hearts because at the end of the day, that's all that matters. Thanks for listening to my Hallmark moment. And then she has this little like Instagram, Pinterest quote that says, let them judge you, let them misunderstand you, let them gossip about you. Their opinions aren't your problem. You stay kind, committed to love and free in your authenticity. No matter what they do or say, don't you dare doubt your worth or the beauty of your truth. Just keep shining like you do. Now, man, you have never, <laughs> ever not let the words that other people say about you bother you. So this whole thing is a mess and I don't even know where to start. One of the things that you say is that you just like aren't used to people criticizing you and and that like because of the internet life is hard for you. Girl, if you don't like criticism of people on the internet, get off the internet, sis. Get off. It's not like somebody's coming to your personal private Facebook page and saying, Chantal, I think all of these things are wrong with you. Nobody's doing that. It's not happening, sis. That is... As far as I know, the only post I'm about to read to you that she has made that is actually still on her community tab. So the rest of these things, I will make sure the screenshots are here for you, but you ain't gonna be able to go back because homegirl <laughs> took them down. So that post was made early in the morning on the 14th Thursday. And the rest of these posts were made later in the evening from our girl Chantal. <laughs> so out of nowhere, she decides to post a, a big long message that was essentially free advertisement for uh, Mr. Toad. And she says, hello, foodie booties. I need the help of my loyal fans. This is beyond ridiculous and the bullying of YouTube really needs to stop. This is beyond ridiculous. Okay, girl, you just said that. This person watched 200 hours of my material to make a two hour documentary on me. In the video, which is completely one sided, he focuses on how horrible I am for defending myself and purposely tries to show me in an unflattering manner. He also lies a hell of a lot. The amount of hate this video has caused is disgusting if you look in the comments. People saying they hate me, etc, etc, etc. And I know I don't say that word how people would like me to. I ask that you help fight me fight against this bullying on YouTube. This is beyond criticism. I have never done anything but defend myself and people feel that I make bad food choices in life, so this is what I deserve. This is discrimination and bullying to make a two hour long video. Toad, you need help and your video will be reported. I ask my loyal followers to also report this as bullying. YouTube has become overrun with these channels targeting others and I honestly, at this point, feel like leaving for good. My mental health cannot take this anymore. They accuse me of raging against others. No wonder. You provoke it by being bullies and then try to say I'm the bad person. It's beyond ridiculous and I won't be a part of it anymore. Hypocrites. When someone sticks up for me, they all rage. Look at life of a free spirit. She acts like a psycho when anyone comes for her. It's the same for me. Ma'am. Sis, girl, because <laughs> I know those are all your favorite words to hear from me. Where do you get off? Like, lies about you? Like, literally most of the video is just toad playing your own words. Like, these are not lies. These are things that you have done and said. I don't understand how you can say that those things are lies. Second of all, his video points out the many times that you've tried to report others for bullying and harassment and you've copyright struck people and it never works. And you're really probably violating YouTube's terms of service by asking folks to go and 
purposely try to take down another person's channel. You need to just let it go. Honestly, not a lot of people probably would have paid too much mind to this video. I mean, it did get some support from Michael B. Petty, some support from Charlie Gold. I was going to tweet about it or talk about it at some point. But like, for the most part, it's not like Toad has like 1,200 videos of you. He has a couple videos of you and a lot of other content on his channel. Like, he probably would have moved on, maybe made a one or two more videos of you. But at this point, honestly, I feel like you've encouraged him to do more. And I don't, I don't know what to say about that other than you are literally doing exactly what he demonstrates in the video over and over and over and over again. Second of all, I just had to support my friend Callie, AKA Life of a Free Spirit. I don't know what your problem is with Callie or Charlie or Michael for that reason or for that matter. Why are you attacking Callie? What, what did Callie have to do with any of this in this moment? Like, Callie didn't, didn't do anything. I, he barely actually even talks about Callie, if at all, in his video. And you, you're choosing to like randomly attack her right now in this moment. I don't get it. I truly don't. I don't get it. I don't get it, Chantal, and you're a mess. So she just couldn't help herself. She couldn't leave it at her own community tab. She went on to Toad's video and she posted this comment, which she has also since deleted. She says, so how is it any better for those in the comments saying even more hateful things? All hypocrites and bottom feeders of YouTube. And the fact that you took so much time to do this is ridiculous. I'm going to do my best to report this as bullying because that is what it is. Targeting someone for two hours for F's sake. All that hard work for nothing. Clearly you have no life working on my like a damn project. Oh, and let me guess, I'm going to be accused of raging. No shit. And Toad is out here and he just says, have a gravy and settle down, which is a reference to one part of his video where she literally talks about drinking gravy just by itself, not on top of something, not on top of mashed potatoes or poutine or turkey, just drinking gravy by itself. So she has since deleted that as well. And she finally decides to post again on her community tab. And she says, I'm done with YouTube. I know I've said that before, but right now it's me against a big network of these people trying to bring me down and I have to deal with this every single day and it's really taking a toll on my mental health. So you win. I really can't do it anymore. It just gets worse and worse. I can't anymore. Sorry guys, we'll miss some of you. So she's really building up this narrative of I'm a victim, not even acknowledging or addressing any of the things that Toad said in his video, which honestly I feel like would have been a better approach if you wanted to talk about Toad's video at all. Like, address some of the controversial things that are in there. Tell me more about why you did those things, sis. Like, I want to hear that from you. I don't want to hear, pity me, I'm a victim, I'm quitting YouTube. And surprise, spoiler alert, she <laughs> posts again within two hours. She doesn't even make it two hours before she's back on her community tab, raging. So she has this to say on her community tab. Wow, so this person's response to me confronting him about his video about me was, have a gravy and settle down, LMAO. Really, truly eye-opening as to what types of characters we are dealing with. You guys are so right, 100% not worth my time. That response right there shows what types of people they are and like wayward children, the best thing is to ignore them. I really need to be less impulsive and really look at the bigger picture. I just hit 60,000 subscribers and I have some sponsorships coming up and I also have a ton of supporters. I don't know why I'm bitching. I'm going to take a small break though, guys. I do have a product review I need to put up on Monday though, which I forgot about. See you then, XO. This is seriously the last time I write in this damn community section about this useless crap. LOL. If y'all thought she was really gonna wait till Monday before she posted another video, she's already 
found her way back to that community tab. Can you believe it? I sure can. So <laughs> this was posted today and she said, just heading home, gonna film soon. You're gonna love it. A braless mukbang. Homemade turkey deli sandwich with gouda and kettle chips and to drink a nice warm hearty mug of gravy. <laughs> sis, sis, get out. Get out of here, Chantal. Get out of here. She is so ridiculous. I don't even know what to say about it at this point. I really truly don't, but I'm here for it. I'm here for beauty booty and dumpster diving diva. So give me those and I'll keep watching, Chantal. I surely will. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to subscribe down below. Hit the bell button so you get a notification every single time I go live. Also, please make sure to leave me some comments and hit like and follow me on all of my social media. I had a good time with you all today and I'll see you all next time. Bye!